Hey guys, it's Danny the Medic. Welcome to the channel. Now today I'm here at the Bacano Buffet with a viewer named Vince. Guys, Vince was so nice, he bought me the buffet. I'm just like, wow, thank you, thank you. So anyway, this is Vince. Hi everybody, I'm, I'm with Danny the Medic here. I'm a big fan of Danny's here. Hi Monica, hi Popo, hi Gung Gung, hi Lucy. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna eat as much as we can. Here we go. This is my first plate. So the fried shrimp, at first it was very nice and then the more I chew it, it kind of went downhill a little bit. So it was like a 7.5 in the beginning, then it went down to a 6.5. Bizarre guys, rather bizarre. Alright now, the ha gao. The ha gao is looking a little beat up because they overcrowded the serving pan and so you got to like like uh, damage the ones next to it to pick up the one you want. Go figure. All right, cheers. Six. I think it's been out for a little bit. Yeah, six guys. All right. The seal might. Eight point five for the seal, mate. Pretty darn good. This here beef with asparagus. Beef. Eight for the beef. Asparagus is okay. All right, now in the Asian section, they have these here salt and pepper frog legs. Look, like literally, here is the entire lower half of the frog. That's two legs, guys. Two legs. It's like it's walking. All right, let's give that a try. Hmm. Very good, very good. 8.5. Tastes like chicken. The egg roll is not crispy enough. Six. And now I got the tonkatsu ramen and I asked him to put some little uh, black garlic in it. Let's give this a try. It's looking really good. Like a these are proper ramen noodles. Yes, yes guys. It just needs a little bit of salt. All right, I added some salt. Let's give it a try. Mm. 
great noodle texture. Cha siu. Mm. Very nice pork flavor. And now the broth that has salt in it. Eight point seven, guys. Pretty darn good. I guess it's my turn to get some crab legs. All right, guys. We'll be back right after these commercial messages. And we're back, guys. And I will tell you the truth. The crab legs are not looking so fantastic. They're all like uh, itty bits and you know all separated and everything. You know, for this price, I would expect it to be clusters. You know, like half a crab with its connecting legs. You know, the quality stuff. This is like all broken into into pieces. Uh, somewhat disappointing, but maybe it'll taste really good. We'll give this a try. And I also have this here, uh, kimchi BBQ oyster. It looks fancy. All right. <laughs> it was stuck to the bottom. I was unable to get it out. Can't get it out, guys. Well, we'll move on to the little crawfish on the gumbo. Crawfish in its natural habitat. It's very flavorful. Mmm. Such a wonderful gumbo flavor. Mmm. So good, guys. So good. Nine for the gumbo. And now for these disappointing looking crab legs. Let's give these a try. Well guys, it tastes better than it looks. It looks like a 5, but it tastes like a 8.5. It was uh, not watery, it, it, it was a good solid piece of meat, you know. Alright, and this was the bottom of the pan. So once they refresh it, I'll, I'll get some uh, more presentable looking crab legs. Alright guys, 
So now I got two more of these things that are so delicious. And I got prime rib with uh, some mushroom stuff that was next to it. Let's give it a try. I don't know. It kind of got a, a odd flavor to it. Let me spin it around, try this end. Eh. Seven. It's all right. It tastes a little dry. Maybe I'll dip in some of this mushroom stuff. There we go. Yeah, seven. All right, so back to these things. Look at the size of this sucker. Okay guys, now to finish off the meal, I'm getting kind of full. I got this here plate of Asian foods because it's what I like. And yes, that is white rice in there guys white rice at an expensive buffet. I just gotta have it guys, I gotta have it. All right, let's eat. Alright guys, so that was a heck of a meal. I am so full. Now, I'm gonna show you the walkthrough of the buffet. Now, nothing much has changed since my last video of the place, but we're gonna take a look around anyway. Alright, check it out. Okay guys, the walkthrough. We're gonna start off all the way in the corner in the Asian station. Over here, you would notice that the staff behind the counter is speaking Cantonese. That is really good guys. They know what they're doing. All right. Now here are some steam baskets coming up, but please know that ha gao in any buffet is not gonna be the best it can be. You're gonna have to get the ha gao from an actual dim sum place that makes it freshly, you know, just before they serve it to you. Over there, that is where you get the good hot gao, not at a buffet. Now over here, you got the Korean stuff. Very nice guys. Subscribe. Here we have a gigantic thing of white rice. Not for those who are doing low carb. <laughs> Some vegetables over here for you. Now coming around, we got this here Japanese station. Ooh, a fresh pan of sushi. Very good guys. Now those were skewers, but they're going to be fresh that later. Here is an entire Filipino pig. And here we have the make your own noodle station. And this is the 
little list of theirs for what is available. Good stuff, guys. Now, coming around, we're heading more towards the Middle Eastern section going on over here. That's a lot of bread, guys. Again, not for the people who are doing low card. Alright, as you can see, we're getting close to the Italian food. Once we turn around, we're gonna hit the uh, Italian food station. Now, this is very well presented. Look at this, guys. Very nicely made. To tell you the truth, I don't think I have ever paid big money at a buffet. Hey look, grandma's meatballs. Nice. I never paid big money at a buffet and ate pizza. Never did guys. So here we have pasta station. You order what you want, they cook it for you. I really enjoy how some of this stuff is on little plates. That was started a long time ago at the Cosmopolitan, I believe. Yeah, they didn't always have it like this. Alright, here we have Mexican stuff. Chicharrones and things like that. Very good, guys. Over here is some uh, specialty beverages that you can pour yourself into little cups and coming up you got like a street tacos like they make it for you on this thing here which I think it was at one time the Mongolian grill I believe guys it has been a while since I've seen the Mongolian grill As you can see, and the way I see it, the food here is very fresh. There are a lot of selections here, they keep it fresh, and uh, I believe they remove it if it's been out too long, because I haven't caught anything that has been, that, that uh, the lingo that they use for food that's been out too long is that it died. So I have not had anything that died at the Bacchino Buffet. But then again, at this price point, it better not be. Alright, so this is the part of the meat station. That's very good. And then the big meat station is coming up around the corner over here. We're going to see it real soon. Looking lovely. Look at all these like, vibrant colors of the food. I think they do very well with the presentation over here. And this is the meat stuff. Alright, guys. Last time I was here, I saw king crab being served right here in this spot. Not here today. I was so disappointed. A little bit of uh, trivia here. Back not too long ago, a few years ago, the beef steamship here used to be Wagyu. Nowadays, I believe they changed it to non-Wagyu. Well, you know, gotta save money somewhere.
these guys handle their meats really well very good to see Oh look, those gumbo things that I like so much. Very good guys, very tasty. Alright, the crab legs are still in broken little pieces, but they eventually get good. I saw it before. Here's the hot seafood area, and this is the cold seafood area. The cold crab legs looked better than the hot ones, but I do prefer the hot ones. Alright, so now let's go take a look at the dessert station that is in the middle of the buffet area. Now the dessert station, everything here is really good. I mean, I, I just don't even need to talk about it. All the desserts are really, really good. I've been to the Bacana Buffet, I don't know, countless number of times and the desserts were always top notch. Coming up is what I call the ice cream station. Believe it or not, a lot of people had commented below saying, Danny the Medic, it's gelato, it's gelato, it's not ice cream. Well, to me, it's the same thing. You know, very ice cream-ish. And they got sorbet, of course. Mango sorbet? Sorbet, guys. Thank you. Sorbet. Alright guys, so now we are nearing the end of the walkthrough. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed yourself, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Press the like and also share the video with people who you think will enjoy this. And this is the guy that makes you the crepes. He's making one right now. There it goes. There it goes the crepe guys. Alright, New Vegas video every Friday.